It's been a solid 10-year stretch for Beantown sports fans. The Red Sox, Celtics, Bruins, and Patriots have all won championships, and now Boston University will have a chance to win their first as members of the Patriot League. Hello, everybody. I'm Ray Crawford. So good to have you with us here. You know, Boston University went 15-3, and winning the regular season conference title in the Patriot League, and they'll have a chance to win the tournament title when they face American on Wednesday. Pleased to be joined now by the head coach of the Boston University Terriers, and that's Joe Jones. And, uh, Coach, your seniors were freshmen the last time that they went to the NCAA tournament. They were kept out of the America East tournament last year, effectively ending your chance to make the big dance. How important would a win for those seniors and your program be? Well, we've been talking about that for really the past year, uh, really trying to help our seniors go out the right way. Uh, they've been such great ambassadors of our program and university. Uh, they're the type of young men that you want uh, to coach and uh, would, you know, would be great for, our, for us to be able to have those guys go out as champions. We hear coaches talk all the time about wanting their team to play their best basketball this time of the year. In the last two games, your team has scored a combined 182 points on 61% shooting. Of course, we know what Watson's been able to do as well with the assists also. But what's been the biggest difference for your offense here lately? Well, I think our guys are just really going after it. They're rising to the occasion. Uh, they're making the plays. You know, it's more about them than what, what I'm doing. Um, we, got, we have very good players. Uh, we have very good depth. Um, and they're really taking on the challenge and, and are playing great basketball right now. American likes to keep the game in the 50s, which is better for your team, uh, fast-paced and high-scoring or a slower pace in the half court. What makes their defense so difficult? Well, they're, first of all, they're well-coached. Coach Brennan does a great job. He's learned under, under the Princeton framework. And, and those teams, everybody talks about Princeton's offense, but they, are very, they were always very good defensive teams as well. So, you know, not only not only do they run the clock down offensively, where it's less possessions in the game. Defensively, they're in the right the right the right the right spots. They got they have great size, and they're also very smart defensively. They don't make a lot of mistakes. They do a great job rotating, and then they get people to take contested shots over their length, and that's been a factor for them. And that's one of the reasons why they're such a great great defensive team. Your coaching career has been in the Northeast, and you grew up in New York, Long Island to be exact, but now you're in Boston. Who's your favorite Boston athlete of all time? Oh, God, I can't believe you're going to put me on a the spot there. <laughs> me being a New Yorker and also a Laker fan, that, that's, a, that's a tough one. But I'm going to go back in the day to Fred Lynn. I always loved Fred Lynn uh, as a Red Sox. I uh, was a big baseball fan growing up, and I just thought he was a heck of a baseball player. Hard worker on the field and off as well. All right, Coach, thanks very much, and best of luck Wednesday. Take care. And be sure to check out my interview with American head coach Mike Brennan on CampusInsiders.com.